Hey guys, it's Brandon here from microscopeclarity.com. Today we're going to be going through the parts of a compound microscope. So I have two microscopes here. I have um, a more simple a compound biological microscope and then I have back here a, a little more complex, uh, also a compound. Uh, this one is a trinocular um, biological microscope. This is a monocular um, biological microscope here. So. Uh, we'll go through the parts separately. Some of the parts are the same. Uh, some of the parts are different. This one has a few more parts than this one has. Uh, so we'll go through those um, and uh, take a look at each one. So uh, down at the bottom, we've got the illuminator switch here. And this one turns on the illuminator down here at the bottom. And so what we've got here is the illuminator intensity knob so you can raise or lower the intensity of the illuminator on the sides we've got the coarse and fine focus knobs so the the larger knob is going to be your coarse focus knob and that is going to move the stage more rapidly so typically you're going to use this coarse uh, focus knob um, on the on the lower power objectives just to get the um, the specimen in focus quickly and then on the on the fine focus is when you're on the higher powered objectives and you want to just slightly move the stage up and down uh, to get the uh, specimen in focus then we have uh, the stage here so on the stage we've got the stage clips and these are what hold the slide in place so to raise these up, you just kind of uh, lift up on the back and it just raises them up like that. And then you just place the slide um, over the top of the, of the aperture. So the aperture is just this, this little hole here where the light shines through. And in fact, there's a uh, condenser lens, a small lens in this uh, microscope. This microscope has a little bit bigger um, condenser, which we'll take a look at in a second. Up here, we have what are called the objective lenses. So the objective lenses are what do um, a lot of the a lot of the magnification, not all of the ma magnification, because um, all of these lenses to some degree uh, are magnifying lenses. Um, but the objective lenses gather the light from the light source that refracts from the specimen, and they they magnify and they start to build that image on the image plane. And then we have the um, so what's holding these objectives in place is this uh, revolving um, nose piece or turret. Some people call it turret. Um, and it basically just swings around like this and they, the objectives click into place, right? Um, and then above that, you have the, uh, the body. So the body um, is gonna have some uh, optical pieces. It's also called the, the head. Um, and then on the side here, so this one actually has, uh, this is called the arm of the microscope. This is typically like if you were carrying it, you would carry it by the, by the arm of the microscope. And this is, this is called the base. So these are the three structural components of the microscope is the head, the arm, and the base. Um, and then you have the eyepiece tube, and then you have, uh, which holds the eyepiece, and then you have the eyepiece, which is the is what you actually look through, right? And these are gonna be, um, these come in like 10X, 25X, I think I've seen like 30X as well. So, um, uh, and you know, by the, uh, by the way, the way that you would calculate the magnification, magnification um, is by using the uh, magnification on the lens times the magnification of the objective that you currently have in place. Okay, so let's switch over to the larger, more complex compound microscope. So this one, uh, let's start again at the bottom. So this one also has a, um, an illuminator here. I don't have it plugged in, so it's not gonna light up, but it's got an illuminator here, just like the other one does. It's got um, also an intensity adjustment um, uh, knob here. And then on the sides, Again, it's got the, the coarse and the fine focus knobs um, for the same purpose. But here we've got actually a mechanical stage, right? So this is, um, this is actually 
where this microscope is, um, it's, a, it's a feature that makes it a little bit better than, than this more simple microscope because this mechanical stage allows us to maneuver the slide around without actually having to, to physically touch it. So these XY translational knobs are what move it, um, because you can kind of see it, uh, it moves it around, along the X and the Y axis on the stage, so it moves the slide around without us having to manipulate it by hand. Um, and then again, um, one other thing that's that's going to be different on this microscope is we've got a an Abbey condenser lens, which is made up of two spherical lenses. So this this simple microscope only has this um, very simple uh, condenser lens. It's a single lens. It's a 0.65 numerical aperture, and this Abbey condenser is a 1.25 uh, numerical aperture lens. Um, and then we've got this um, condenser rack uh, knob that's just going to raise and lower the, the condenser. Um, and then obviously we've got the objectives, which we already had talked about. Those are the same um, on the simple and the complex, except these objectives are made to the DIN standards, which means that you can unscrew these and then you can um, replace them with other microscope objectives that are of the same uh, standard. Um, and this, uh, this revolving uh, nose piece here, this actually has four uh, objective slots, so it can hold four objectives at a time. And then we've got the, the body of the microscope, and this one actually has um, two uh, eyepieces here. And it's, it's the same, uh, same idea, so these eyepieces just kind of uh, fit into the eyepiece uh, tube there. And then also this one, since it's a uh, binocular microscope, it's got this inner pupillary uh, width adjustment here. So you can change, you can adjust it if your eyes are farther apart or closer together, or whatever. And then we've got this trinocular uh, attachment here, which basically allows us to mount a camera on the top. Um, and it allows us to actually take uh, take video and take photos of, of the specimens that we're looking at. Um, and that's pretty much it. These are the, the parts of a compound microscope. Um, I'm sure I've left out details. Um, there, I'm sure I've you know, forgotten to mention things. Uh, so for the full article, please check out the links below. Like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.